Hey guys, Stavi the Portal Guy here with OmegaBit.com. Going to show you a few more features about Life Ray Portal. We've been getting some questions about how instances work, so we're going to talk about that for a minute. I, the thing to remember about instances is they are effectively a virtual copy of Life Ray, and you can have multiple instances within a single physical installation of Life Ray Portal. Uh, that's the, basically the equivalent of one of our Delta. Uh, life rate portal hosted packages that we have in OmegaBit. Now, um, when you get a portal from us, you already get administrative credentials preset, but we're going to log in with the default pattern here, which is useful to remember because we're going to reuse it in future copies or future instances that we set up inside the system. So I'm going to log in as test at, and the default instance inside this just plain vanilla copy of life rate happens to be at liferay.com and I'm going to log in with the credential the password of test and I'm in as an admin and I'm going to go ahead now and navigate to the control panel and then go to uh, portal instances and this is the area where I can create these multiple distinct virtual copies of liferay within a single physical installation so uh, and you'll notice that I have one here by default and um, sort of a useful mention is that once a uh, instance is defined including the default one that comes with Liferay the web ID is stuck permanently and um, it's not uh, a particularly big deal because nobody sees this except an administrator but you do want to remember when you're defining these that you try and avoid typos and other errors so that you don't get yourself into trouble and if I go back one and uh, if I want to create a new instance, I just hit add here and I effectively get three blank fields to work with. And I have one defined called demo5. And I, one of the things that's useful uh, I've found is if you stick with consistently with using the same uh, nomenclature for your web ID as you do for your virtual host, you'll avoid problems. Web ID uh, does not like spaces or special characters and following this pattern is just useful for reference purposes. The mail domain is also important. Um, I, one of the things that we're going to have to keep in mind is that when we log into this instance we're going to need to remember this mail domain in order to get in as that user for the first time. And uh, if I hit save I end up with that instance in the portal. And now what I can do is I can go up to my uh, browser here and we can just sort of take a, a quick shortcut and drop right into this demo 5 instance and uh, because this is running on my local machine it's on port 8080 if you're hosting uh, your portal on the internet then you could drop that that port listener and when I get here now uh, the thing that's important to remember is we set the mail domain for this instance to be omegabit.com and so uh, if I change this here and so I'm going to use test at omegabit.com and I'm going to log in with the password of test. It should let me in as an administrator. One other important mention before we go there, though, is that I must point to this portal by name. It's not uh, appropriate to point by IP address because that will default me to the primary instance of the portal, and that's not what we want to be right now. So I'm going to. Uh, I've already set my local host file to resolve this name to the same IP address that the main instance is listening at but I could also set this up with my local DNS provider when I log in as test first thing I get is uh, a an agreement page which I'll go ahead and say yes to and it does ask me to uh, set a question for security purposes and you can uh, either set one of the questions that's listed here or create your own as one of the options that's provided in the list and then once I'm in, uh, one of the things we recommend for anybody who's setting up a new instance is log in as that default administrator, go to my account, and then change um, the at, at a minimum change the email address to something that will resolve to a real email account, so you can get alert messages. You might want to change your screen name and other uh, the other bits of the name identity here, and then um, also you probably want to uh, drop into the password area and change the password to something more meaningful or a little bit more secure than test. So that's the gist of it. Hey, if you need a place to host your life rate, we'd love an opportunity to be your provider. Give us a shot at www.omegabit.com or call us at 877-411-2220. We hope to hear from you. Thanks a lot.